JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for May the 28th. I am Haralambos Pissuros, Senior Market Analyst here at JFD and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's uh, read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded uh, mixed against the other G10 currencies on uh, Thursday and during the Asian morning Friday. It gained against JPY and NZD while it underperformed versus GBP, SEC, CAD and NOC. The greenback was found virtually unchanged against uh, the Euro, the Aussie and the Swiss franc. Although the performance in the FX world does not paint a clear picture with regards to the broader market sentiment, the weakening of the yen suggests that investors may have traded uh, in a risk on fashion yesterday and today in Asia. In indeed, turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that major EU and US indices traded mostly higher, with appetite staying relatively supported uh, during the Asian session today as well. Although up until yesterday, investors appeared careful in adding to their risk exposure ahead of today's PCE data, a New York uh, Times report uh, that uh, US President Joe Biden will seek six trillion US dollars in federal spending for the 2022 fiscal year may have boosted uh, their sentiment. Market chatter suggested that uh, the more than anticipated fall in initial jobless claims may have also helped, but we think that anything pointing to an improving labor market, combined with the recent surge in inflation and remarks by a few Fed officials over quantitative easing tapering, may have uh, the opposite effect, as um, it could increase the chances for the Fed to start normalizing its policy sooner than previously anticipated. As we already noted, today market, par ma today market participants are likely to lock um, their gaze on uh, the release of the core PCE index, the Fed's uh, favorite inflation metric, for the month of April. The forecast suggests that the year-over-year -year rate has surged to 2.9% from 1.8%, something that could raise uh, more questions as to whether the acceleration in headline inflation is mainly, is mainly due, to, due to transitory factors. It would also be interesting to hear what Fed policymakers have to say in the aftermath of the release. If most of them stick to their guns that the search in inflation is likely to prove to be temporary and that it's not a time to consider normalization yet, equities and other risk-linked assets are likely to continue trending north. However, the opposite may be true if more Fed policymakers start referring to a potential reduction of their quantitative easing purchases. For now, we prefer to step to the to, to, we prefer to step to the sidelines and wait for the picture to become clearer. Now back to the FX world, the British pound was uh, the main gainer among uh, the NG10s, uh, coming under buying pressure after Bank of England Monetary Policy Committee member Georgian Vlieg uh, said that a rate hike could come earlier if the economy rebounds more quickly than expected. His comments come after the latest better than expected GDP data at and combined with the vast, uh, with uh, the fast vaccination rollout pace in the UK, they may keep the pound relatively supported, especially against the US dollar, which could come under a renewed selling interest if uh, most Fed policymakers stick to their dovish uh, stance. Now, as for the rest of today's events, uh, alongside the US core PC index, we also get the personal income and spending data for uh, for April. Personal income is expected to have uh, declined 14.8% month over month after searching 21.1% in March, while spending is forecast to have slowed to 0.5% month over month from 4.2%. So that's it uh, from me. 
Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, a greater weekend, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again next week. JFT, just fair and direct.